Okay, here uh, a chilly part of your road with Dean Frost. Um, Dean, um, on another day, that was probably a, a game we could have won, decided by the penalty. What was your thoughts on the game and, and the penalty? I uh, thought first half, I thought we, uh, I wouldn't say controlled it, but I think we, we had a stranglehold of the game. I think it was a, probably quite an even first half. Maybe we, we shaded it a little bit, but I um, was quite pleased at half time. Just we said we was... Um, we had a bit more control. It wasn't end to end. It wasn't a stretched game. It was um, a game that was, um, yeah, quite quite tight. And we had a bit of control. And then second half, we again we've done what we've done the last few games. Just come out second half and a bit sloppy. And then a bit disorganised. A bit had a bit of disarray. Long throws where they probably could have had a chance. But, you know, it's bouncing our six yard box. Um, so yeah, first half. I think we've done all right. Second half, a bit disorganised and lost our way a little bit. Anything you could put your finger on why, we, why this is happening in the second half? Uh, I, I don't know. It could be a young person thing, a young man. Like we go at half time, go out there, start the start the game. How you you know start the second half? How you would start the game? You need to get yourself in the game quickly again. Make some good touch, have some good touches of the ball. Have, make some good decisions without the ball. You know, go and win win some battles early doors and get yourself back in the game. We seem to um, make some. Or, I suppose poor decisions, um, and uh, then yeah, we end up being on the back foot for a little bit, and uh, yeah, so uh, we'll have to. Maybe it's a mindset. Maybe it's a mindset. Second half, Rodak really was on top form, and then has he, has, has he come out a bit too eager? Do you think for the penalty? What's your thoughts? Mate, I don't know. Maybe he's, he's not come out eager enough. Maybe he's, he, he, he stopped start. Mm. I mean, from where we were, it didn't, it didn't look like penalty. It actually looked like um, Roscoe done what he does well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's done it for us for years, so we're not, I'm not going to complain about that. I just thought we, we thought the referee had made a poor decision, but I haven't seen the uh, replay. Um, Again, obviously, no no goals. It's obviously becoming a a, a, a talking point. Um, how do you think we can we can we can adapt that? Is there anything you can do or well, still looking? Um, yeah, I've got, to, I've got to try and maybe look over the next two or three days now to try and get someone in. We need we, we need an extra person up front, we need an extra option up front, we need whether it be a big man that we can put crosses in or a big man that we can stretch play. I think the big difference is in, 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 the, in the seven games I've been here is that we have one of their target men, like I.E. Roscoe or Sean Marks or Braintree or Pennicut or Halifax, you put them in our side, we look maybe look a different side or it gives us some sort of focal point. And we don't have, you know, I'm asking a lot of Tommy, he's 19, he comes with a good pedigree, I'm asking him to try and play up front and lead the line, when, you know, probably, he probably needs to just be two a couple of games in and then sit on the bench for a few games, but I'm asking a, a, quite a lot of him, so, yeah, we need, clearly need a, 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 a maybe another recognised big man, target man, or sort of someone to stretch, and it may give a side a, side, a different complexion, and then maybe, again, I've said it before, maybe allows your wingers to have a bigger impact in the game. What we see with Roscoe today, he's back into play. He holds on to maybe one second longer than we do up the other end, and then it allows his midfielders and wingers to join the game, to join the play. You brought in the week Ibrahim Cargbo. Um, I thought I had a steady game today. Um, he seemed to shore up the midfield a little bit. It was, how did the move come about? Um, he was, I was going to phone call for a couple of weeks ago, train with us. He's trained with us for four or five sessions now. Um, train well. He's, he's more enthusiastic than some of the young lads. He's ready. To, you know, when we've turned up, he's ready to train. He's sprightly. He's um, he's quite infectious. Um, he's just like yeah. He's just. I think he brings a little bit of experience. Well, he brings a lot of experience to the side, and he's played a, a, a very very good level. I thought he did all right, um, and maybe part of the reason why we did look maybe a little bit um, quite strong and organised in the first half. So. Um, yeah, he was, he was offered to us, he's come along, he's, he's, he's happy to play for a couple of games to try and put himself in the shot window for maybe us, in terms of if we like him, we maybe try and sort some money out for him. He's played enough it today, so, um, and we can see a, you know, a, a, an experienced, steady performer that, you know, had, his, had a little bit of quality and a little bit of still to our side. Um, looking at the squad as a whole, no Wellard, Bakari, Chambers obviously went off injured on Tuesday night. Just give us a little update where we're at with some right, of the players. Uh, Chambers got a knock on his hip, so he, um, just seeing day by day, see how quickly he, he, uh, he recovers from that. It's a bruising on the, the hip bone, and that muscle is spasmed up that makes his back uh, spasm, so he's in a bit of pain. But he has eased off in the last 24 hours a little bit. So 
we see where he is on maybe Monday and then whether he's available Tuesday. Uh, Wellard, um, yeah, he's in, out of the squad at the moment. I think um, maybe in the process of maybe moving on. Um, but that hasn't been finalised. Um, unfortunately, Gailey came to the train yesterday morning, got a slight sharp pain in his glute. Um, and then he'd done a fitness test. We thought he, he said he, he thought he'd be available today, and then he'd done the fitness test. He wasn't quite happy mm. with where it felt, so we, we decided not to risk him. It's just not worth risking someone who's on loan um, that we're paying. He goes and gets pulls his hamstring. He's out for eight weeks, then, and we're paying someone's wages of an injured player. So, um, which looks like the case with Addy maybe as well. So, um, so yeah, we decided not to risk him. Um, and Bakari, Bakari, yeah. yeah, just at the moment, I've had to offload some players to bring Tommy in to, to release some money. So Tommy's come in, Michael's out. Um, I'm just trying to juggle around and have a go. You know, things are tight. You know, they, 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 everyone has been strapped up on contracts, and it's it's making the, the you know to move players in and out is making it bloody difficult. And um, yeah, it's it's something that wasn't that happened at the club over the years. Uh, normally you have 12, 13 players on contract and six or seven on non-contract. 18 players on contract um, at a club like Welling is, is unacceptable. Obviously, um, there's still a way to go in this season. But have you got a one eye on next season? And should we, you know, should the worst happen? Um, or you yeah, not yeah, no, yeah, like no, that? yeah, I, I am. I mean, I've got, I've got to, in my head, I've got to think that I'm going to be here next season. Mm. And so, yeah, I, I, I think it's very important this club starts to get back. The good characters. Mm. It has to have an identity. Um, we've always had characters, say the, the bar, in the bar and, and in the dressing room. We've, you know, the fans have. There's always been a, you know, a bit of unity. And we, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking around. I want good players. I want good characters. I want players that are, are willing to run through brick walls for me, uh, the club, Ash, and the fans. Um, so yeah, I, 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 there is a, a little bit of an eye on next season as well because you know, you know, at the moment. Um, situation we're in. Yeah, I have to have one eye on. Well, regardless whether we stay up or go down. Yeah, we need to rebuild and get good, good players, good characters. Yeah, and, and there, needs to, there needs to be an identity. I, I think the, lack, the, the as a team, we don't have an identity. We couldn't really say what sort of team we are. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, footballing wise, we need one and as characters and. Yeah, you know, we need, we've always had great characters in the club and we need to get them back and lastly Bromley away Tuesday night good game to go and win and try and at least you know go on a, go on a bit of a run in the yeah, Kendall yeah um, we just we say, said to the lads just be disappointed for a few hours somehow we're gonna have to, you're going to have to manage to get out of that disappointment whether it be tonight or tomorrow morning we have to regather our thoughts think about the good things they've done in the game as individuals and as a team uh, and, and, and try and yeah, bounce back and yeah, so clear the heads for Monday. They start focusing on Tuesday night, and it is a good game. Yeah, uh, Kent Derby should be a healthy crowd there. Uh, pitch is all right there, um, and uh, yeah, why not uh, try and bounce back um, against Bromley? Um, yeah, Kent, Kent Derby should be quite tasty. Go and get warm. Cheers. Cheers. Nice one, Dean. Okay, here with uh, Marek Rodek after the 1-0 defeat to Aldershot. Marek, you had a superb game today, um, obviously, other than the other than the penalty. What was your thoughts, though, on, on the penalty? Harsh? Oh, that was a penalty. It was, like, soft. You go away from the goal, like, don't... He touched me a little bit, but I don't, I don't touch him. So, it's not a penalty for me. In the first half, it was quite an even game. Um, second half, you, as a keeper, was under a lot more pressure. But... We were soaking it up. Did you, did you feel we were on for at least a point? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Should have deserved a point at least. Just need to go a little bit luck and that's it. What's the mood in the camp like? Because we're on a long losing run. Um, you know, we hate, we're not scoring many goals. We're obviously in the bottom four. But as players, do you feel that th there is life that we can get out of this? Yeah, it's lots of like young players, got lots of energy. We just needed that like I was saying, score one goal and win one game. Just keep going, keep going. Yourself, you, you, you're making some fine saves each and every game. Um, this is obviously a learning curve for you because you're at Fulham and, you, and you're doing well. What's the future hold for you, um, Merrick? Well, future hopefully next year staying at Fulham or, or somewhere higher and just do what I can. And enjoying your time at Welling? Yeah, enjoy. I really enjoy it. Excellent. Well, one of them today and we go again on Tuesday. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, Merrick. Thank you. Cheers, mate.